for RCR Wireless News. I'm Sean Kinney, and we're here at Mobile World Congress with Kintal Chowdhury of Altio Star to learn a little bit more about the company. So thank you so much for inviting us to talk with you today. As we get started, could you just give us the story of the company and, and tell us how you uh, have grown over the years? So um, Altio Star is a full portfolio RAN company first, but we are trying to change the way the RAN is uh, defined, deployed, and procured. So we are, uh, the way we started, we started to bring uh, intelligence to the edge by doing an intelligent RAN. In that process, we evolved from building a simple Inode B into a full-blown NFB-based cloud RAN. We call it VRAN or virtual RAN. And by doing so, we started addressing the operator's needs to solve a number of problems that they already have today and looking into how we can help them break some of the status quo in, 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 in this industry exists, especially in the RAN, where they can only procure certain things from one place and not, they don't have diversity of choice. So that's what we are. We have grown over the last uh, three, four years uh, with commercial deployments. Our solution is, is working in the field and it's fully LTE advanced capable and going towards 5G. So as you've worked with some of your operator partners, what are some of the uh, problems that they've faced? So number one, so all these operators face a big challenge of supporting their subscribers with more and more bandwidth where the RPU or the revenue from their services are not going up. So this is a classical problem that we all talked about that you provide more, more bandwidth, more service and you have to bring your costs down. And what's happening is in the market that you, you have to do the first thing which is provide more bandwidth but the cost and overall cost of how you deploy and run your network is not proportionally going down. So we are coming in to really get, get that math right so that you can get the cost down significantly so that you have more headroom to do more other things with your dollars and euros. And so how does VRAN help solve some of those problems? First of all, VRAN takes a different approach of how a radio is built. Radios are built traditionally on custom hardware that oper uh, vendors uh, that's just Im implement on their own hardware. The thought was that you can really optimize the radio if you do a custom hardware-based design. But over the years, because of the advancement of the compute technology that comes from over the um, open source um, uh, uh, area, you can really deploy part of the E-Node B on cloth hardware, commercially off-the-shelf hardware. And that reduces the cost significantly. The other, pro other problem was, once you do this kind of transition, you have to also transport certain way of connecting the radios with your centralized cloud. And that was CIPRI or CPRI. That was a roadblock for operators to deploy VRAN or CRAN. We have solved that by doing Ethernet transport. And one of the big challenge for us was to prove that we can provide all the LTE advanced features on Ethernet transport in a real network, in a macro, macro network. And in the past two years, we have done that in a number of locations with big, big operators. And today, I, think, I don't think anybody in the, in the world is questioning whether this, this architecture, this split that we have implemented works or not for LTE advanced. And I wanted to ask you, uh, VRAN has been a very hot topic at the Congress this week. How does Altia Star differentiate itself from some of the competitors in the space? Great question. You know, when we came to MWC two years back, I remember, we're probably the only very few companies even talking about VRAN. But as you, as you have just noted, that VRAN is the you know, buzzword everywhere and pretty much everybody's talking about it. How we differentiate is we are not only doing VRAN, but also opening it up. So we have Ethernet transport, that's a big differentiator. We are vir virtualizing on cost hardware, big differentiator. But at the same time, we are also opening it up so that like telecom infrastructure project, like uh, xran.org, like uh, TGPP, the way of trying to define the interface between the radio head and the centralized cloud, that has to be open, open interface. And we are, we are driving that ecosystem so that operators don't have to buy everything from a single vendor. It has to be truly multi-vendor, open virtual RAN. Not only in the in-building space, not only the low power space, but the total RAN space for all types of RAN deployment. 
And that's, that's our differentiation that we would like to drive as much as possible. And Kuntal, if we could, I'd like to look ahead a little bit. Uh, you mentioned LTE and LTE Advanced, but how about 5G? How is Altio Star going to uh, help their operator clients manage the challenge of evolving to the next generation of mobile networks? Okay, great, great question. One big thing about virtualizing is the, the network has to become software defined. That's how you can deploy new services. 5G is not just a big pie, but it also has to embrace, just look around in MWC, you see cars coming in, you see different devices coming in. That means the opportunity to evolve their network to deploy new services in a rapid way and, and way they, they can manage it. So that means you have to softwareize the whole network. Virtual RAN does that, paves the foundation for how you transform your network to support 5G from network perspective and service deployment perspective. But from the RAN perspective, there are a number of ways of 5G is going to bring in, from low band to sub six to millimeter wave. Altiostar is developing products to address all three. And our solutions, as we deploy today, we're trying to make it in such a way that we can address transition from LT to 5G by doing software upgrades rather than doing hardware for clicks. And finally, I know the company had a really big week here at Mobile World Congress, winning not one, but two of the GSMA's Glomo Awards. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit more about that? That was the happiest moment for everybody in Altio Star. Um, I, I was ecstatic because you know it was a big, uh, big accolade by GSMA. And not only that, but the CTOs. We really, I really thank the CTOs from the bottom of my heart that you recognize that in this RAND space, there must be innovation. That means there must be open way of doing things. And you, you saw that we are really the leader in bringing that innovation to the RAND space. It's a, such a big space and that has to be um, you know, uh, addressed in a proper way. So we're really happy that we got this uh, innovation award and we are, we are very happy that this is the way we see that the industry wants to move. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to share Altia Star's story and its perspective on the industry, and congratulations again on your awards. Thank you very much. Thanks.